Hey, today we're back in Cleveland, Ohio at the IX Center at the Piston Powered Show. Yeah, this is, we're back. We've kind of made this a tradition because there's always something good to see here. We only give you a glimpse, but it's a good glimpse. It's a good glimpse. Three days, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and, and we're jo enjoying the heck out of it. Some beautiful cars here in Cleveland. The yeah. weather's not too good today, but- well, uh, That's why it's indoors, yeah, so we yeah. don't have to care about that. That's it, so. So. Let's go. Let's, what do you think? You think let's go, go, let's go. Let's go Come inside on. and check it out. Okay, okay. let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> We have Mark Cole here with his 49 Ford panel truck. We finally got it done. Oh, two years in the making, or maybe even more, but it's finally done now. What did you do to her? Well, it was kind of possessed when I got it. <laughs> I swear every time I drove it somewhere, something went wrong. Uh -huh. So we just started by starting over with the Mustang 2 front end, a new engine, everything in there. Now, all the wiring. You name it, we've tried to play with it. Then getting all the interior done by Portage trim was a huge success, and it's looking great now. It's so. no fun when it breaks down. You, you come out, you do all this stuff to your cars and everything, and you go, boy, let's go have some fun. It breaks down. You go, ah, oh, not again, not again. You know, Back I, home I, on the tow truck. Yeah, yeah I've so. had that a few times, believe me. Yeah, then Mikey Sotomora did his magic, buffing it out. Uh -huh. Guy Shively did everything with lettering it up uh -huh. for me, so I'm ready to cruise. He's ready to 2024. cruise. 2024. Here at the uh, IX Center, first time you had it here? Yes, okay. first time ever being here with any car. So, always have the booth set up over there, but sure. basically this is just a great opportunity to meet a lot of great people and oh, try sure. to ensure a lot of people out here and sure. make sure they're covered properly. Sure, you got that right. Oh, definitely. Nice, nice, it's nice in here, nice and uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. For Ohio, it's crap. What do you, raining, snowing, everything out there right now. So we're in where it's 70 some degrees and nice. Did you tow it here? Yeah, I brought it up in a trailer. That was another thing. I needed an 80 inch or higher door. Uh -huh. I went everywhere and thank God Mitch Cohn with Edward Flowers hooked me up there and let me borrow his truck and trailer. So we finally got it here, but I'm driving it home. Are you that's, home? that's too much to worry about uh -huh. all the way in. By the time I get it loaded up, I could be home almost. Yeah, so. yeah. So hopefully the weather will be good for you by Sunday. Right. So. It's supposed to be sunny and 60, mm -hmm. 55, something like that. Mm -hmm. hey, we got a nice show of uh, hometown people here. A lot of guys oh, yeah. from Austin town. A lot, of t a lot of Youngstown people are all around here. You can look around and just, sure. it's great to see everybody. Sure it it's kicking off spring, kicking off the great summer shows. We'll yeah. be at your guys' place on, uh, what is that? July date? 24th. Okay. Yeah, and we're already Austin set. Town Park. Yep. Yep. We're already set to be there, so we can't, it's like a big reunion sure. kicking off right sure. now. Everybody's been in hibernation for the past six right. months, you know. So. But we had a great winter. I can't say anything oh, yeah. about that. That's for sure. Best winter we ever had. Yeah. Never even had to put the plow on the truck this year. So that was great. <laughs> I used my snow plow one time and that was it. Okay. <laughs> So. Hey, Mark, thanks, thanks for showing hey, us here. Thanks for coming your, on out. Your revived truck here. Hopefully yep. everything works out for you. Yep, thank we'll you very you. much. Hey, with me, I got uh, Danny Carsack from, where are you from, Danny? Curtis, Ohio. Curtis, Ohio. Not far from here, huh? No, not far. Hour and, uh, hour and a half. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And he brought his 69 Mercury Cougar here, which is fond to my heart because I had one a number of years ago. I had the convertible, but this doesn't look anything like mine. <laughs> Believe me, not at all. <laughs> so what have you done to her? Uh, well, uh, so 
I did a full rack and pinion uh, coil over uh, shock tower delete. Um, the Mustang, uh, uh, it's called a uh, Eleanor side exhaust. Okay, that looks really nice on there. Yep. Did it fit right on there? Uh, no, I had to do a little modification to it and make it a little longer. Is that fiberglass? Or fiberglass, fiberglass, yep. Um, it's got the Roush exhaust that goes with the uh, uh, side exhaust. Um, motor's a uh, Ford Lightning block. Uh, 351 punched and bored to a 410 cubic inch 408 stroker. Fit right in there, huh? Oh yeah, uh, 570 horse. Yeah, I, I, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, sunset orange pearl. That's pretty. Thank you. Who, who painted it for you? Uh, me and my dad. Wow. We did all the work ourselves. You did a nice job on it. Thank Very you. nice job. Thank on you. It. I was checking it out before you uh, before you come over, and boy, guys. You're pretty picky with yeah. it, pretty full, detailed. Full restoration, I mean, quarter panels, door bottoms. Uh, I wish I had my book here, but it kind of got a little wet and pictures got ruined. I didn't get around to putting it back together. So, so uh, how long has this, this been in the family now? Uh, since uh, mid-80s. Okay, oh, uh, so you had a while then. Oh, yeah, long while. Um, it's been restored for almost nine years now. Okay, yep. uh, why a cougar? They're different. Yes, 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 yes they are. I'm a different guy. I yeah. like different taste yep. and uh it's not a mustang it's not a camaro you know that's that's nothing right. against them i we, th I, I we like think them we, and, we think alike <laughs> yeah. yeah but i like to set aside and look different right yeah yes. it does stand out it definitely stands yes. out people go what is that what is that it oh looks, yeah it looks like oh, yeah. but it isn't but a lot of people are like is that a charger yeah no <laughs> it's, <laughs> is a, it's a real eliminator it is not a real eliminator yeah, it's, a uh, it's a clone um yeah, yeah. i would not mess a uh, six-figure car up. So. Yes. Yeah. I was wondering when I first saw it, I said, uh-oh, what did he do here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But some guys don't care, you know. They don't really don't care yeah, if they, exactly. they mess them up. But this yeah. is, he did a nice job on this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all new interior this uh, winter. Um, had the uh, rear seats recovered, and I okay. threw my little touch of cat head in the rear seat there. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah still, still a work in progress. How's she run for you? Oh, runs real good. How fast have you had it? Uh, I've had it over 130, and uh, I've had it at a 12 second on a quarter mile. Okay. And yeah. it's got more. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of engine in oh, there. Yeah. A lot of engine. Hey, Danny, thank you very much for uh, bringing your car today. What a beauty she thank has. Thank you. First time in Cleveland? Uh, first time having a car here. Okay. I've trailered a friend's car here for the last two years. Mm -hmm. yes. Now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. <laughs>Tim Sandys from Toledo, Ohio, yes. with his 1970 Chrysler. Her 300 Hurst edition. Okay, what a beauty. Thank you. What Thank a you. beauty. Thank you very much. You don't see these too often. Not very much at all. Uh -huh. No, they only made uh, 485 to 502 okay. is the number. One convertible, so 501 hard tops. Where's the convertible? 
uh, down in Tennessee. It's still it's still around. That's the car that Linda Vaughn used promotionally. Oh. And then she was big time back big then. Big time, uh, huge. She's still around. She's still around. Yeah. Still yeah. still alive, doing well. Still yeah. looks good too. Yeah. So um, this car is a bucket seat car. Okay. So they only made 40 bucket seat cars. So it's actually a one of 40 car. And where'd you pick it up at? I bought this at Meekum uh, last year in Indy. In Indy. In 2020. Were you looking for this one? Or? I, I've been looking for this car for about six years. Mm -hmm. And finally came up for sale. And what got you for this car? Why why this car? Uh, I love the big body styles. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a biggie, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love if you look at the fiberglass hood and okay. then in the fiberglass trunk is a rear molded spoiler. Oh, okay. And I, I seen this car when I was 12 years old. Okay. And I knew someday you were going I'd to have one. one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, do you like it? I love it. Do you love it? I, I love How's she it. ride for it? It rides great. It's a big, you can see big body style. Oh, she yeah. just goes right down yeah. the road. Big, made, they made them big back then. 440, 375 horse. How's it run for you? It rides great. Mm -hmm. All right. A little throaty. Yeah. And it make, makes a little noise. Is there a Hurst in it? It's a Hurst uh, Chrysler. No, they, they, the only car that has a Hurst shifter is the convertible that Linda Vaughn used that's, the promotion. That's it. That's it. And the you said one. how many of these they made? 500? 501. 501. One. Yeah. Okay. That's, hers is the only one okay. that had a Hurst shifter. That's odd. And they got they, the Hurst colors. They, and they, uh, Hurst right? and Chrysler dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to send shifters and oil pans, and they, they didn't do it. Never did it. Never did it. And never did it. So it ended up like this, that's a, which, that's is a, which is it, beautiful. It's, it is a beautiful car, and it's still a Hurst, yeah. but no Hurst shifter. Were you bidding against a lot of guys? Oh, uh, there was one other phone bidder. Okay. It was a battle. Oh, okay. But as you can see, I won. Yes, it, yes it, she it, did it, win. Yes, she did. So uh, tell me about it. I've never been to Meekum or anything like that. You bid on this car and everything. You pay so much for it. At the end, how much do they charge you for? It's a, a t I had to pay 10% buyer's, okay, buyer's 10%. premium. Yes. Okay, it's always 10%. Yes. And the seller pays I think 10 they pay 10 as well. Gosh. So that's how they make their money. Yeah, so they made quite a bit of money on this one car. They it? did. Well, that's yeah. what keeps them in business. Sure, sure. And they're in good business. They're yeah. great tell, business. tell me about these rims. These things just pop on this car. Uh, you know that? I, that's one of the few things I did change. Those are Schatz wheels running uh, 198s in front and 2010s in back. Shots, you shots. call them. Shots wheels, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Very. I, I looked at those and go, wow. Thank that you. Really adds to the car. It it, it looks nice. Yeah. You know, that's I, like I said, didn't do a lot of changes to it because they made so few of them. Right. But that was one thing. But I did still have the old rims Absolutely. and everything. Yes. Yep. Goodyear white letter tires, yeah. original wheels. Yeah. I still have those at home. Looks good. Thank you very much. How fast have you had her? Seventy. Seventy. Yeah. Is it fast? It's so I, big. I, 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 it'll move right along. They said it was, but yeah. 70's plenty fast. Sure. I don't want anything to happen to her. No, I got you. I got you there, bud. I got you there. What a beautiful car. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you very, thank very you so much. much. Okay. Thank and thanks you. for the, uh, what is it, peppers? Tony <laughs> Packles Pickles Peppers. <laughs> you got me some Tony Packles pick, pick, pickles. pickles. Pickles and Peppers. Pickles? I can't say it. Tony Packles Pickles and Peppers. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks so much. Okay. Great seeing you guys right. again. You got it. <laughs>I might, I might even be buried in it. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to ruin it like that. Heck, that's too nice. This is a XK140 uh, Roadster, MC Roadster. Yeah, very rare, 3,000 made. That, that's it. So, yep. Bruce Harvey from Pro Comp Custom out of Pittsburgh, we'll say. Yes, hi, how are you? Did you get nice flooded this week? Uh, not, not horrible in <laughs> uh -huh. our area, but other areas, yeah. yes. Pittsburgh yes. got it pretty bad. And Mike Garner, Mike is the yeah. owner of the 63 Chevy Impella. That was at the Detroit Autorama. It was up for the grade eight, yeah. I got a jacket and everything. This nice is your car. This is my car. 
tell me, tell us about it. Well, it's just a dream I've had a long time ago. You know, I've, I love cars. My dad was in the, <clears throat> he worked a little bit for General Motors. And, uh, he got me started, taught me how to drive, taught me how to respect the car, and uh, how to detail cars. And I've had it by blood ever since. And the, this car has uh, always been a dream of mine. And it took a while to find one with a 409 and a dual quad. And then... Uh, it's a true 409? Yeah. And uh, after we, we ran the heck out of it, they, uh, it's time to pretty it up. So I just told Bruce to do what he got to do. He did his magic, and uh, mentally and physically. And uh, the only thing I really asked is uh, exactly what he did, and make the uh, engine, make that 409 look like a diamond ring, and he did. Yes, yes, he did. He sure did. We had a lot of fun of that, and along the way, it was a great, great journey. How many years into this build? This is 10 total, but uh, yeah, I've had the car. It took me that long. I had a 327 from 63 Impala before this one. So, but this is where I wanted to be. So. 10 years and endless pockets, huh? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on a 69 Firebird. I'm not doing anything close to this, and I'll tell you, yeah. it takes a toll on yeah, you. You just have to take the time to enjoy it while you're doing it, too. And that's, you, have, you run through some hurdles, and that's what that's the fun part. If you look back. Keeping a strictly show? For now, yeah. Yeah, we're just kind of, we're kind of green in this whole area right now. This is only our second show. Two big shows. Detroit was one of them, and this is my first time here. So yeah, I saw it up in Detroit. What a, what a beauty! I feel honored to be here, where in this position, and uh, have to have the work done. To make the grade eight up there. That's 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 remarkable. Oh, yeah. We could have gone a little further, maybe. We were close to going all the way, but a couple things changed there. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm proud to be here. I feel you were up against the best there, Dave Kindig. You know that. We had a lot of other beautiful cars along the way, and uh, and then Chip Boost took the time to jump in here and, and look the car over. He was very impressed. So, so it makes Bruce feel good and made me feel really good. So, yeah. Bruce has been doing cars now for how long? Uh, since I was 15, so that's, uh, I don't know if I can remember that long. <laughs> so, but yeah, many years and still loving it. Bruce is turning into, he turned into one of my idols, two-time Riddler Award winner, plus a grade eight winner, which no one has ever done before, nope, right? Nope, three grade eights in a row. Uh -huh. You should be having all the accolades that like all these other guys have on the TV shows, you know? <laughs> well, we'll talk about Ken Dig and Foo, so you should be in there too. Yeah, well, we'll see. You know, we're still trying. We got a couple more builds coming up. Up, so, yeah. Any so chance of getting a TV show? Uh, well, we turned one down, yeah, but um, maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just uh, I'm really heavy into what I'm doing right now in a TV show. I was kind of worried about it affect it. You right. know, um, that's a big decision sure, because it's, sure. it's it's their show then. Yeah. You know, it's their their place. They're right. telling you what to do, and I'm not good with that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I understand that one. Yeah. I understand yeah. that one. So you do have something in the closet again, though. Yes, right? yes. Because this was in the closet until Detroit. That's what I'm saying. Right. Because it, basically, to win the Riddler Award, you're not allowed to show this to anybody. It's not allowed to be out in the no, public at no. all. No pictures, no video, no nothing. So it's in the closet until uh, until Detroit, which is a good thing, huh? Oh, yeah. That's what makes it cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what you're up against, and I like that. Right, right. So, so, you, don't, so you go as far as you can. The, you know, the day it's time to leave to go to Detroit, that's when it's done. Right. Where do you get all your ideas at? You yeah. get ideas off ideas, and there's a lot of experience up here. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, you kind of work it through. You start with the obvious, and then move, you know, and it just comes to you. Do you look at other guys' stuff and say, well, I can do yeah. that a little different. Yeah. I, can, I can do this better, or I can, I can get an yeah. idea. Yeah, and I tell them. After you see it, it might be something you thought about, and then you see it executed, and then you say, maybe not a good idea to go that direction. That and uh, first time seeing something is always the best, you know, so you try to come up with your own ideas, you know, but I get ideas and then, like he said, you don't do it, you just tweak it and move on. Looks good. This one turned out a beautiful one. Beautiful one. Thanks. Well, glad you plus, like it. Plus, Bruce had this uh, 31 Chevy. We've seen that on the show numerous times. That's the Riddler Award winner. How about the Ford? Yeah, oh, the Merc. The Merc. Yes, it's yes. It's not here? No, it's not here. Okay. No. But this is the beauty. Yeah. This is, I, I remember <laughs> I told you that was the most, that was the most prettiest car, the best looking car ever I ever wow. saw. Wow, yeah, oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Coming from you, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. I like it. But uh, I, I want to hold you to this here. We want to get you on our podcast. Okay, we'll make it uh, happen. Wait, wait. Yes. Did you hear that, Craig? <laughs> Did you hear that, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the shows are over now, so okay. I got time. I'll okay. make time. And your girlfriend's name is what? Julie. Julie, okay. Yes. Well, I called Julie up. I'm going to say, hey, Bruce said yeah, he's going to do it. We do it Wednesday nights, and uh, 
We'll That's awesome, we're, yeah. We're on YouTube with it, we're on Armstrong Cable with it, uh, as well all over the place with it. Okay, so, yeah, I okay. have to do it. It's, it's good for me. Yeah. So I, I'll let you know, we took a picture together in Detroit, and I have it on my wall in my garage. Really? Why, well, sure. You're my, That's you're awesome. I told you, turn it into my <laughs> idol, man. How could, I, how could you not? Two That's Riddler awesome. War winners and a, a, a late eight winner. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You're awesome. Wow, you're I got awesome goosebumps. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ready. Oh, <laughs> with me, I have Dave Gray with his 1932 Ford. What is it? Roadster. Roadster. Yep. What a beauty. Huh? Well, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. And you're from what? Midland, Michigan. Yes, yeah, from Midland, Michigan, about two and a half hours north of Detroit. How long does this take you to build? We actually thrashed on this one, and myself, and my employee, built it in five months from start to finish. That's it. That's it. Wow. All in house. Everything but the interior was done in house. All still. Yep. Wow. Yep. Where'd you find that? Uh, it's a Brookville body, and we started with a custom chassis that we designed and so, had. A, so Brookville is the company that makes the makes body. the steel bodies. Yep. So people don't yep. Know. It's a reproduction steel body. Okay. And they're pretty nice, huh? They are nice. It's much better than starting with a 90-year-old body that needs a bunch of rust repair. However, they are not perfect, and to, to gap them and to get them to look right and things, still a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So you did this all yourself then? This is your company? Yes, yep. Gray's Garage Hot Rods. Yep. Out of Midland, Michigan. Correct, yep. What are you guys working on now? Uh, we've got two other 32 Ford Roadsters in the shop right now, both customer builds. Uh, one of them hopefully will be out at uh, Pomona, California for America's Most Beautiful Roadster next year. So. Excited about that one. You gonna drive it out there? No, not for the, not for AMBR. Uh, right. That it'll be a trailered car until it gets out there and showing, and then it will be driven afterwards. I was talking to Dave, and he says he drives this car everywhere. He put what, 11,000 miles yeah, on it already? Over 11,000 miles in nine states last year. Had a real good time. That with was it. just last year. Just last summer. Yep. Wow. Wow, that's great. What are you, what are you sporting under the hood? Uh, it's a first generation Chrysler Hemi. Yep. I bet you the Ford people don't like you for that, huh? <laughs> you take some slack, but yeah. there's nothing better in an early hot rod than an early Hemi. All right. Where do you get your experience at? 
really just self-taught. I've been doing it for years and uh, just decided that I was ready to go at it full time about five years ago and been doing really well since. Turns out nice, I'll tell you, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. What color is that? It's actually a GM Ochre. It's from like a C10 truck from the late 60s, early 70s. What made you pick that color? I was just looking for something different. Um, there's a million black 32 oh, Ford sure, Roadsters sure. out there, and I was just looking for something that would look appropriate for the era that I was going for on the build and uh, get some attention, and it, it's done that and very nicely. It's been great for the shop. You got a lot of attention. You made it in Modern Hot Rodding Magazine, huh? Yeah, Modern Rodding Magazine featured it in December uh, of 2023, and then also in 2023, it took a top five good guys hot rod of the year, which is real happy about that award. How'd you get recognized like from the uh, modern hot rodding magazine? Uh, after I drove the car down to Nashville for its maiden voyage and then won that top five for good guys, uh, that kind of really put the car on the map and it was got a lot of attention all last summer. And then the fact that I was driving it all over to different shows throughout the country helped modern rodding notice it. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine driving on this freeway somewhere on an interstate and come across this thing. I bet you get a lot of thumbs up there, huh? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What, a, what a beauty. Well, thank you. And how long, let me ask you, how long did it take you to, uh, to build this? Again, five months it, from start to finish on this one, which is not five. anything I really want to do anytime soon again. Five months. How many guys? Uh, myself, one full-timer, and then I had a buddy that helped me out during just, the last week. Just three of you, basically. Yep. Wow. Yep. Two of us most of the time, and then one just coming in at the tail end to help us in the last minute thrash. Oh, it turned out beautiful. How's the ride on the highway? Actually really good. It rides smooth, and usually if you see it on the highway, I'm going to be in the left lane at about 85 mile an hour, because it's got places to go. Yeah? How fast have you had her? Uh, about 110, 115. Pretty smooth? Yeah, it, it drives out great at those speeds, but I wouldn't really suggest it on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, any more, any more 100, 110, you're okay with these big engines anymore and how much power they, they push out. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know? the whole thing weighs about 2,600 pounds. So oh, oh, geez, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, the power to weight ratio is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Dave, what a beautiful car. And, uh, thanks for uh, showing us your well, thank car you. tonight. Thanks for Appreciate the interview. It. Okay, buddy, thank you. With me, I have Bob Hall from Brunswick, Brunswick. Ohio. Right, correct. With his 41 Cadillac Series 62. What a sweet car. This is a badass car. You know that, huh? You know that. You picking up the girls with this thing? My wife wouldn't let me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty. How long you owned it, Bob? Uh, only a few months. Uh -huh. How'd you come across it? Uh, a friend of mine bought it a uh, uh, few months before he sold it to me, and uh, he was looking for a different type car, and uh, he offered it to me for sale, and, and uh, I jumped on it. Uh -huh. This is a beauty, huh? Everything's so, so nice on it. Yes. yes. Know, the chrome, the paint, everything. Yes, it, it was judged at uh, uh, 98 and a half points out of a possible 100. How long ago is that? Uh, just last fall. Last fall. Wow, wow this, it's pretty. This is a Harley Earl style. Harley Earl had the best styles back then, and oh my God. You, right. can, you can just see it here. What, what are we sporting under the hood here? It's a, a flathead V8, uh, 346 cubic inches. About what, 170 horsepower, I guess? 150 guessing? horsepower. I was close, I was close. Uh -huh. And uh, it's back with a three-speed uh, standard transmission. Okay. Are you having fun with her? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Just wait till summertime, huh? Oh, yes. What color top we got on this? Uh, black top. Black top. Black, black where, uh, with red pin striping on it, uh -huh. red piping. So this is pretty much restored to stock, right? Right, correct. Same, is it stock color? Correct. Okay, good. It's a beauty. I, I walk by this like, oh my God. I said, this is so nice. Everything's so nice. To you know how much it costs to get that chrome done in the front there if it was messed up? <laughs> You're talking big bucks, you know that. Oh, yes. This is a big buck car. What a beauty. Yes. What a beauty, Bob. I'll tell you. Plan on keeping it a while? Oh, definitely. Good, good. 
I might, I might even be buried in it. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to ruin it like that. Heck, that's too nice. We want people to enjoy it. That's what it's all about. Make it to the shows. Bob, thank you very much for showing us your car. What a love beauty it. this is. And I, I fell in love with it when I walked by it. And I, I just love the black and the chrome. Like nowadays, you don't have much chrome on cars. Right. But, but the old days, look at all the chrome on it. Right. Just makes it pop, yeah. makes it pop. All right, thanks very much. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>John Pollock, who's showing his car for his brother, Greg. <laughs> How's that? Okay. Perfect. From, from uh, Illyria. Illyria, Ohio. Illyria, Ohio. Yep. It's 57 Jaguar. What series is this? This is a XK140 uh, Roadster, MC Roadster. Yeah, very rare. 3,000 made. That, that's it? So, yep. What a beauty. All right. I was, we were Thank walking you. up and down the road, the road here. Uh, the owls looking for cars. I caught this one a couple of hours. I go, oh my God, let's go. I see it. I just got it by the side of my eye. And I said, oh, this is a beauty. Yep, it's a real eye catcher. Uh huh. Yep. The driver. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. drive it. Drives fantastic. Motor runs like a uh, top. Fantastic. What do you got in there? Is that a V8? Uh, it's actually an overhead cam six cylinder. That's a, that's a six, that that's big thing? Big six cylinder, wow. yes, sir. Wow. Yep. I thought I was going to say, I said V8, and after I said that, I said, no, maybe it's a 10. V10, <laughs> no, but it's a, that's a six. Six cylinder, yep. Jaguar engine, huh? Yep. How many horsepower is this thing pushing? Uh, it's around 210 horse. That's a lot for that day, Sam. For that, yeah. It, it made it go 140 miles an hour in oh. 1957. Wow. Yeah, wow. which is pretty good. Have you got color to that now? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, no. no. It says... Type C, so what's that type C mean, you know? So they're talking about the head, the design of the head for more horsepower. Okay. They had a stock head mm -hmm. and then they had the type C head. Okay. Oh, okay, I understand now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boy, what a beauty. What color is this? This is called pastel blue. Okay. It's the original 57 color. Yep. What color top? It's a really dark blue, navy blue top. It's a it's a cloth, it's a canvas cloth, top. Yes, okay, yeah, canvas. Yeah, canvas top, yep. Leather interior. Love the windshield. I love the windshield. It makes it look like it's it's going fast right off the bat, you know? Yes, that's exactly right. That's, that's really nice. That looks, uh, 
That looks amazing. I love it. I love it. Do you drive it much? No, we don't. We no. don't drive it too Basically, much. Basically, yeah. show car. Show, show car, yeah. yeah. Trailer queen uh -huh. at this point. I'd be scared to drive it myself, but I'd like to drive it once in a while up and, you know, yeah, show a couple miles away or something. That's right. Just exercise yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Keep what it a, going. What a beauty. Yep. Thank you. Thank where do you, where do you show it at usually? Have you been here before? Uh, this car has not been the Piston Power Show. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only owned the car for a few months. Oh, okay. So you just got it. Where'd you get it out of? Uh, it came out of Massachusetts. Okay. Get it yeah, an auction? A, a collector or from a collector that okay. we know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he was into all Jaguars, right? Uh, Jaguars, <laughs> MGs, a lot of British cars. Oh. Uh, he's a performing artist, Ray Lamontagne. Yep. That's who owned it. That's who owned it before. Yep. He likes the bling, huh? <laughs> he likes the bling. Yes, he does. Yes. Hey, thanks for showing us That's your great. brother's car. <laughs> yes, yes, my brother Greg. Your brother it's Greg's his, car. It's his what, car. A, what a beauty. It's what a beauty. beauty. He loves his cars, and, and this one's fantastic. Yeah, don't let me sit behind the wheel because I'll, I'll drive it out of here. Go ahead. I'll then drive go, it out of here. Please, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks, man. All right. Okay. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Another banner year at the Piston Power Show at the IX Center in Cleveland. Well, it's, what a, this is always a great show. You know that? We saw some cars here today. It just made my hair stand up in the back of my head. That Jaguar, we, oh my God, beautiful car. You know how many times I saw Rick, look at that one over there, and he's running, and I'm sitting there going, you know, I'm hobbling along trying to catch up to you, and it yeah. just didn't work. We so. saw some very nice, you know, it was nice. We saw a lot of hometown boys here from the Austin Town area. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. About 10 of them, eight, 10 of them, yeah. yeah. What, what was nice to me about this show is somebody from Medina, we have a Medina system at Armstrong, and he said he watches it up in Medina, so mm -hmm. that made me kind of warm and fuzzy inside because, you know, <laughs> we're expanding now. Warm and and it only took us 16 years to do that, but... Oh, usually cars make me feel warm and funny. Cars and girls, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's Rick for you in beer. Uh, no, not much beer in it. Bourbon. Bourbon or scotch. All right. Anyway, you know, <laughs> great show. Yeah. Well, it was a ton of stuff. Uh, make sure you uh, check out our YouTube channel and Armstrong Neighborhood channel on YouTube and our Facebook page. Where's, so. our, where's our next show at? Um, I don't know. The 15th at uh, Southern Park Mall. What he said. I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I just wrote the schedule out. I remember it, June 15th at Southern Park Mall, and I, I can't be there. Yeah, I know. So it'll be a great show. It'll be me. <laughs> so you guess what? Uh -huh. You're in for it. And if you're watching this afterwards, the show's over already. So yeah, yeah. you don't have to go to it on June 15, 2024, yeah. because you're probably watching it after the fact. But <laughs> for Rick Carrera, you can look it up. Yeah. For Rick Carrera, my name is Greg Rote, and we will see you, you down, down the road. road. Let me start. Okay. Okay. okay wait a minute. Ha, 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 ha.